Uh, welcome to Raho International Statistical Institute. Uh, we'll see what is statistics and how to use statistics in healthcare quality improvement and patient safety. Uh, because now statistics play a very important role, not only in clinical research, even in quality improvement and patient safety. So in this video, I'm going to review the definition about statistics. Yeah, this is the definition <clears throat> as per the literature. Like statistics about learning from data and uh, guiding the way we collect, organize, analyze and interpret information. Generally, with the help of statistics, we can able to know how to collect data. And after data collection, what we need to do? Like data validation before presenting data. Then after data validation, we can present our data by table or by graph or by diagrams. After presenting our data, what we need to do? Analyze our data, data analysis. For this, we can use some advanced statistical tool. After analysis, what we need to do? Just write conclusion about your analysis, interpretation. So these are things we need to do for statistical analysis. Now statistical analysis is a powerful tool for all types of data analysis. This is also one more definition about statistics. With the help of statistics, we can able to convert our data into information. It is the exact thing. If you want to convert your data into useful information, which one we can use? Which method we can use? Statistics. This is the only option. Any data healthcare data, business data, clinical data, any data, if you want to convert into useful information, we need to use all these statistics. Now we'll see what is the exact roadmap for data analysis, especially in healthcare quality improvement especially in healthcare quality improvement. These are things we need to do as a data analyst. What is the first one? First, we need to collect data. This is the first step. After data collection, analyze your data. From the analysis, we can able to get some information. It may be positive or negative. If, if you got positive information, what we need to do as a healthcare quality professional, just keep monitoring. Suppose if you got any abnormal things, if you got any negative things, what we need to do, just prepare action plan to resolve that problem. So prepare your action plan, then implement. If it is implemented successfully, we can able to get optimal outcome. This is what we need to do in healthcare quality improvement as a data analyst. Okay. Now we will see. Yes, as per our first presentation, we know what is statistics. Like for statistics, first we need to collect data and we need to validate the data. 
and we need to present our data then we need to analyze our data then interpretation of the data now we'll see what are the main branches in statistics before going to the tool and uh, techniques we need to know the branches in statistics the first one is sampling method the second one is descriptive statistics and third one is the inferential statistics there are three branches in statistics the first one is uh, sampling method it's about uh, data collection how to collect data which method of sampling we need to use and how many we need to collect it's about sample size these are things will come under sampling method and after data collection how to present our data which table and which graph we need to use for the presentation of data visualizing data so this is the second branch after presenting your data what we need to do inferential statistics make prediction generalize the solution to the population based on sample data this is what we need to do under inferential statistics so these are the main branch in statistics so as a summary what we learned from this presentation with the help of statistics we can able to know how to collect data and how to present data and how to analyze our data and how to interpret our analysis also we learned what are the branches in statistics it's about sampling with uh, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics so probably in the next video we'll see we'll see some details about sampling method how to collect data what are the sources of data collection what about the sample size which method of sampling we can use we'll discuss all those things in the coming video thank you